Hi everyone, Vlad here for another video. As you can tell, it's quite cold here in Dubai, which is something I never thought I'd say. But the weather has been absolutely crazy. I've actually played tennis in the rain. It's been crazy cold. I actually had to bought this, this uh, jacket for that. So yeah, in any case. Uh, yeah, let's get into the topic today. Got a lot of emails about this. Uh, how expensive is Dubai? Uh, how much budget should I have? What what should be my overall budgeting monthly? This and that. Obviously, it's a very difficult topic to answer because everybody's budget is different. Everybody has different jobs, different salaries, we have family situations, kids, this and that. So it can add up pretty pretty fast. Because Dubai is not a cheap city. It's, Dubai is not a city where you want to be without a job, for instance. Uh, bills end up stacking quite fast depending where you live as well so yeah so cost of living in Dubai is definitely quite high um, depending if you make 10,000 dirham monthly whether if you make you know 20 or 30 you're gonna have to budget for different things what you need to know is that there's always always hitting hidden costs when you think you're gonna pay less you're gonna end up paying more even though there's no taxes in Dubai you get to keep your whole salary uh, there's always hidden ways that they end up taking money from you whether it's your car renewal that you have to pay XYZ fees extras every month sorry every year when you renew your car whether it's insurance that keeps going up every year uh, last year my car insurance used to be 2,000 dirhams yearly and now it actually gone up even though the value of my car went down which you know it's just you know doesn't really make sense restaurants are expensive going out is expensive uh, your typical beer at a place, a uh, very cheap place like Barasti, which is a main bar in the marina, would cost you around 40 dirhams. But if you go to a more high-end bar or a higher, uh, higher-end lounge, like the Jetty Lounge, for instance, that is also in the marina, the beer would cost you around 60 dirhams. So, you know, things are expensive. Obviously, you can live on a budget depending on which area you live in. I mean, obviously now this is a beautiful area, it's the marina. Uh, this is quite a nice place. Things everywhere here are expensive. The movie theater is expensive because there's always this VIP premiere, this and that. So, yeah. All that to say that cost of living is quite high. Your groceries are quite high. The vegetables you buy are quite high. There's not really many things that don't cost a lot of money in Dubai. You know, so this is where you need to be smart with your money. This is where you need to try to chase those bargains. You know, if you're trying to, if you're, if it's difficult for you to make ends meet with the with the job you have, um, it's where you need to cut costs everywhere you can. Uh, renting a car also is higher. There's a lot of these rental cars, and there's so much competition for renting a car. Uh, they usually have good prices, but even. The, the guys that rent cars now, it's, it's expensive. You can rent a really bad car like a Picanto or a Micra and cars that like looks like wheels or like bicycle wheels. And it still will cost you about close to 2,000 dirham monthly. So please make sure to keep that in mind before you guys come out here in Dubai. Uh, the job market also is not amazing. Uh, even though 2020 is coming, it seems that more and more people that I know are losing their jobs struggling some companies don't pay salaries this and that so so what can you do well it goes back to my previous point try to look for bargains you know try to not shop at choi trims all the time try not to shop at a waitrose all the time i know they have those special sauces and oils and whatnot but maybe you don't really need those maybe you, you, you're fine if you buy your stuff at uh, the co-op union co-op where everything is cheaper and you can buy in bulk this and that try to buy a car not rent a car you know if you can buy a car like a yaris or whatnot you're gonna save money there the things that don't cost money well there's not a lot but you know ga you know gas is very cheap uh you know gas for a car is very cheap yeah guys that's pretty much the only thing i would say is cheap compared to the rest of the world you can definitely drive for days but the car you'll be driving unless you're very rich is probably gonna be not a great car but you know what to do also the good thing though is that the rent didn't go up this year i was about to renew my rent for my apartment in the greens and the rent stayed the same so yeah that's that's a good point but also again watch out for all those hidden hidden costs like dwa bills for your electricity and your water 
palm cooling district sometimes even your AC is not just an AC cost there's additional costs you don't understand why you don't really get why uh, you have to pay security deposits you have to pay a fee to your agent so do your homework for anything big that you want to buy in Dubai do your homework so that you're not stuck like a lot of other people stuck not realizing all those hidden costs that definitely add up each month so try to be smart try to do a lot of research I mean there's not that many amazing videos or tutorials or this and that online but yeah try to do as much as you can to, and also if you have family if you have kids you know make sure that you get insurance this and that does your does your company insurance cover your spouse cover your kids this and that so that you're not stuck with with not knowing and then you're not you don't you don't know which which foot to, to stand on so yeah Dubai is definitely a fun city definitely fun I mean I've been here six years and I'm still enjoying it not a city where if you lose your job you can definitely stay long because like I said the bills keep adding up uh, so yeah, my, my word of advice to you guys is try to stay in your financial lane. Don't do anything too crazy. Try to save up each month as much money as you can, if you can. I know there's some people that like to spend all their money all the time, but yeah. Try not to be those people. Try to really save your money. Try to be smart with your money. Um, if, you're, if you're keen to look for investment in Dubai, really do your research because sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not so great. So yeah guys, just a quick video. Uh, I figured since I have so many emails about uh, asking me, you know, uh, how expensive it is to buy and all that. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please leave it a like, comment if you have any questions for me down below, and subscribe for more content. All right, guys, peace.